All right, so now we will take a look at the delete request method. So it's pretty easy to use delete and it's pretty straightforward. You just use it to delete stuff on the backend server. And the backend server typically deletes it from a data source like a SQL server or MongoDB, uh, any general database. So what we'll do is we'll reference app and call the delete method. And I'm gonna reuse the same path because it doesn't make sense to, to not reuse it. So now we have slash API slash users slash colon ID for the route parameter. And we have this path registered with a delete method. We'll pass in the request handler callback function. Now with delete requests, you actually typically don't need to pass a request body. You can if you need to, perhaps you might need to provide extra data in the request body. So just wanted to point that out as well. But typically, if you're just deleting stuff, it's pretty straightforward. So you don't really need to provide, you know, like a payload. But if there's other things that you would like to do on the server side, and you it requires data in the payload, then you can definitely pass a request body. So we'll do the same thing. We'll go ahead and grab the route parameter. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier for the patch request and the put request. I'll simply just destructure uh, request.params. I'll destructure the ID from request.params. Um, actually, I'll do it like this. Params ID, just like that. It looks more cleaner. And then what I'll do is I'll parse the ID to make sure it is a valid numeric ID. So cons parse ID equals parse, parse ints ID. And then we'll do the if is nan check. We want to make sure that parse ID, if it is not a number, then we want to return a response with a status code of 400, which means invalid, which just means bad request, which is because of the invalid ID. Okay, so now we want to, of course, just remove the user from the array itself. Or if, again, if you're using a database, once we get to that, we would actually remove the user from the database. In our case, we have to remove the user from the in-memory array. So what we can do is this. So I'll go ahead and use the splice method. And uh, what I need to do is I need to get the index of the user that we're trying to remove. So let's do that. So we want to get the index and then we'll pass it into splice. And I'll just remove the user from the array. So let's do this const find user index, mock users find index. And I'm going to go ahead and pass the predicate function, which is just going to um, find the user by its ID. And remember, find index will return negative one if we're not able to actually find the user at all in the array. So we need to do a check to see if find user index is equal to negative one. And if it is, We'll do the same that we did in our patch and put request. We'll return response dot send status. And we'll do 404 because we can't find the user. All right, so now that we were able to uh, handle this case, at this point, we know that the user, uh, we, we have the user index of where, they're, of where they are located. So what I can do is I can call mock users dot splice, pass in uh, starts. And I don't think we need delete count because it will just remove the element from the array. Um, so we, and I think it will just remove only one, I think. Okay. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. And now uh, what I can do is I'll just return response dot send status 200. And let's see what happens. So let's go into our Thunder client. Let's click new request. We'll make a request. We'll make a delete request. So I'm going to select the delete method and let's do localhost slash API slash users. Um, I want to delete user with ID number two. So I'm going to use, I'm going to pass number two as the route parameter. And we're not going to put any request body. We're not going to send any request body. Uh, let's see. Parse is not defined that I messed something up. Let's see. Oh, whoops, I forgot to change this to, I forgot to write the rest out. It's parsed ID, not parse ID or parse. Yep, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this is kind of reason, this is one of the downsides of 
JavaScript. I do need a linter though, I agree with needing a linter to detect these issues, but it's okay. We fixed it and let's go and run our app again. So going back to VS Code in the Thunder client, I'm gonna go ahead and click send and let's just see if I can get the user by its ID. So it says 44 not found. Let's make sure the user array is valid. Um, let's see. So it seems like, um, okay, so I, I know what the problem is. So it seems like it's sliced, it's spliced everything starting at the index. So we actually only need to delete, we need to do, we need to specify the delete count because I think it removes everything after that index. So let me actually fix that. So we have all of our users. Let's try to delete the user. So delete. Okay, and let's try to get all the users again. Okay, so all of our users are here. I'm not sure why though it is returning as gray this time. That's kind of weird if you ask me. Um, but if I try to get the user by its ID, it's not found. But I, but I can grab the other users. Okay, so um, that works. So um, that's pretty cool. And you can see that in the browser, I don't have the user by its ID anymore. So let's just delete a couple more. Let's delete three. If I refresh, I don't have user of ID three anymore. Let's delete user number one. Okay, so now I'm only down to four users left. So that is pretty much how you can use the delete method. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense and hopefully you now better understand how to use all five of these HTTP request methods. We have went over get requests, post requests. We went over put requests and patch requests. And then finally we went over delete requests. Now, if you wanna see a list of more HTTP request methods, you can go over to the uh, Mozilla docs over here. You just Google this uh, HTTP request methods. You can see that there are get requests. There's also a head method as well. But, um, you know, you don't really use these that much, but sometimes you will use them. There's also the connect method, options, trace. I personally have never really used these that much, but there might come a case where you do need it. But in that case, you can just read up about it and, you know, see what you're supposed to do with these methods and use it accordingly.